what's going on guys this is Britter back with codex and we're on elements and i should have just did the last two on the last episode but we're gonna go ahead and this is gonna be a short episode and we're just gonna finish these two here so let's go ahead and get started the first website ever from 1991 is still up the project.html let's go ahead and click on that all right that's the first one Alright, so what do you notice? Besides the fact that it's bare boned, there are a bunch of links. Links are integral to the idea of the internet. They are how users connect to other sites and navigate the web. So how do we add a link to our web page? We can use the A anchor element. This link tag allows us to add a hyperlink to a piece of text. Let's see how we can do this. Here, the A anchor element is similar two other tags where the text inside is what is displayed but what about the href inside the opening tag a href or hyperlink reference is a reference or pointer to another website that is linked in our html when the text internet archive archive is clicked the html will redirect to that site which is our in a, which in our case is this note this can also be used to point to an email or phone number using a mail to, tell, or SMS parameter. And those are examples of those three. Images. What if we want to add images? We can use a similar format but with the image element. The image element is another self-closing tag, so it doesn't have a closing tag. Source attribute, which stands for source, specifies the file path of the image. This is the image path. For most images, the file path can be found by right clicking on the image and selecting copy image address. Instructions. Oh no, your friends lost their pet last night. Can you create a web page with the pet.html to help your friend find their critter? It should include the following. The pet name, a pet pic with the image element, a short description, contact info with the A anchor. So. Um, let's do fluffy um, where so which am I supposed to find just an image or get a hint okay so it's all right I'm gonna open another window over here and just find a random pet can I restart here because I've messed up so it wants us to do a body and then after that close the body Fluffy image source. My friends, pet sloth went missing last night. Above is a photo. Uh, 
sloppy. Please call. Um, run. And nothing's popping up here. I'm not understanding why nothing's happening here. <laughs> All right, and this still pops up, so I can't like reset it. I don't want to screenshot it. Um, how can I start over? Alright, so that let me hit complete and I definitely wasn't complete. Let's go back. Alright, so this did work. Next. What do we do different there? Previous. Alright, let's try this again. Um, it looks different now. I'm not sure why. I think that was just the darkness. Yeah. Uh, I prefer it to be dark like this. So let's do this. Alright, let's just see if that will run. All right, there, that's working now. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, I'm on the wrong thing. Run. Here, okay. All right, let's see if that will run. Is there something going on with just this web page right here? Because this will not run and I can't figure out what I'm doing wrong. All right, let's just view the solution here. We did that. I'm just going to go ahead and go to the next one, guys. I think there's something going on with this one because it won't even run like the simple, the simple part of it. I'm not sure why. All right, let's hit complete. All right, that was six. Now on to seven. Favorite band. Hopefully this one will work. Um, I think this one did pop it up. So yeah, this one's working. What is this? No, that's... 
Not helpful. Okay. Um, congrats. Woohoo. You've reached the end of chapter one. Here's a refresher on what we went over. HTML elements, tags, and indentation. Heading tags, paragraph and line breaks, text formatting, unordered and ordered lists, links and images. Let's put everything together. Create a band.html page for your favorite artist using all the elements we learned and at least two types of text formatting. It should include the following. Okay, so we're going to do this. Um, the name of the artist... Let's see if this is working. There we go. All right. A picture of the artist or band. So let's go here and There we go. Perfect. I, I'm not sure why the other one's not working. I'm really not. A short blurb about the artist. And for quickness sake, I'm going to post something from, uh, Wikipedia about the band. A link to the artist's website. to the website and then then Okay. All right. And the members in an unordered list and top five favorite songs. So we need to close this unordered list. And then in an ordered list, H3 top five songs. We're going to do an ordered list. my favorite songs this is not going to be in top five because it's going to take me too long to come up with that so
let's run that back. One, two, three, four, five. When it's done, take a screenshot and click the Twitter icon to post your band page. All right, I'm not gonna do that part, but we have successfully completed that. And I think this is the end of the HTML new badge. Congratulations, you have earned a new badge. That was a first peek into the world of web development. Take a breather and see you next time. Chowder. So let's go back to our dashboard here. Oh, this is our profile. We've done seven exercises. Um, how do I get to our dashboard? Oh no, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go to... Here we go. This is what I wanted to see. Alright, so we completed all the elements. On the next episode, we're going to be starting with the structure. And I'll try to do all these in one one or two videos. So there's 14. So I, I don't know how we'll work it out, but we'll figure it out. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for hanging out. You guys let me know in the comments what you guys think of Codex so far. I kind of like it. It seems a little buggy though. Um... And I don't like how you can just hit complete, even if you're not really complete or you don't know if you're really complete. I like how on free code camp, it, it won't let you if you don't get it right. So I don't like this, that part, but so far, I mean, it's, I mean, it's pretty cool. I like the, I definitely like the way that it looks. I wish that it did not let you move forward if you did not get something right. Anyways, thanks for hanging out, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.